Russia's escalating its attacks on areas beyond the front lines. Air raid sirens went off in Kyiv to start the day as the Kremlin launched a new wave of missile attacks on Ukraine's capital city. Kyiv is just one of several cities across the country being targeted in the attacks. At least 10 people are dead. Russian President Vladimir Putin says the latest wave of violence was a response to the bombing of a bridge that connected mainland Russia to Crimea. He called it, quote, a terrorist act. Ukraine has not claimed any responsibility for the attack. The Kremlin responded by bombing residential areas, tourism hubs, and other heavily trafficked areas. Earlier, the incoming missiles disrupted a BBC News broadcast out of Kyiv while the correspondent was on live air. Watch this. The front lines uh, was hit uh, more than a dozen. So. Wow. Joining us now for more on this is Hugo Bachega from our partners at the BBC. And Hugo, we are so glad to see you are OK following that attack. Paint a picture for us. What was going through your head? Hi there. Good to see you. Good to be here with you. Um, I think this morning there was the fear that something uh, big uh, could happen. Uh, was, there was the fear that the Russians could go ahead with a massive response following uh, what happened on Saturday. Uh, and I think at that moment, because there are no helicopters flying over Kyiv, there are no uh, airplanes flying over the city. So any noise, any sound that comes from the air automatically gets mm. your attention. And that's exactly what happened this morning. And I saw that missile on, on, on to my left. Uh, and uh, I think when you see me looking, you know, to the sky, uh, looking up, I saw the missile and it was very, very close to our location, our hotel. Uh, and uh, it hit a location here in uh, the city center. I think uh, the target of this missile was the uh, area near uh, the, foot, uh, the glass uh, footbridge, which is a major landmark here in the uh, capital, in the city center. So I think for many of us, it was a shock. Uh, that this happened uh, in the heart of the city and obviously very close to our hotel here. We're broadcasting from the car park. This is uh, the underground car park that serves as a bunker here. Mm. This is the safe location uh, in the hotel. Where I we're figured you'd be underground. That's, uh, it's good to see Hugo and I imagine you're preparing. I mean, it's the first time in months that we're seeing attacks in Kyiv. Uh, hoping that you're all prepared and to continue uh, your coverage. Just very quick, uh, what do you expect that's going to come next? Oh, we got to go. We got to let you go. I know you have to uh, go on to your reporting. Hugo, thank you so much for joining us.